let's discuss why it is important that you have a buyer's agent to represent you during the search process and then during your contract process. First, during your home search, you could definitely call uh, the agent on the sign. You could go online and look for houses and then call the agent that represents the seller, but that agent represents the seller. They know all of the ins and outs about what the seller is willing to take and they're not allowed to share that with you. And in fact, they are trying to get the most for their seller. With a buyer's agent, they're going to run the comparables and find out how much the home is actually worth. And then they're also going to help you figure out what a good budget for you is based on what you want to be spending on a monthly basis. Once they've determined all of that, they're gonna to try to keep you in that budget. And in fact, if an agent isn't keeping you in your budget, it may be time to consider a new agent. Um, so that's what they're gonna do for you in that process. They're also gonna be able to search the entirety of the listings that are online, and not just one site, but all of the sites, any home that is listed, to be able to find something that meets your criteria so that they can help you to find the right home and to go see the right homes. They should be asking you a m many, many questions in an attempt to narrow it down and figure out what the right location and what the right home is for you so that you only have to go see seven to eight homes. In fact, most buyers will find the right home in the first couple of home tours uh, or within the first, you know, usually less than about 10 tours. So. That's where they can help you before you go under contract. Now, during the contract process, they can negotiate things like your inspection time frame. They can negotiate for you how much of an escrow deposit you may need to put down. This is something that is, um, is meant in Florida. Uh, this is something that we do in Florida. It's not something that is done in every state. So that's another reason why it's important. You may have purchased a home before, but if you bought it in another state, if you bought it in another area, then the process, the contracts, the paperwork may be very different. So let's get back to what I was saying, which is that they can help you with the contract. They can help you to negotiate things like how much you're willing to pay for the property based on what it's actually worth, how much you are willing to put down as a security deposit, how much time you're going to need for your inspections. They can negotiate through the inspection process. They'll make sure that you stay on track once you've gone under contract as well. So your contract is signed, you are moving forward, you are talking to your lender, the lender is moving forward with the loan, but you've only got a specific amount of time maybe to do inspections and the agent is going to make sure that those get scheduled and that you don't uh, go past your inspection dates. They're gonna make sure that the appraisal gets scheduled, that the survey gets scheduled, that everything is in line so that you can close in 30 days or less, maybe 45 days or less, depending on, once again, what they negotiated for you in the contract. They can negotiate things like whether or not you're gonna occupy the property prior to it closing or whether or not the seller is gonna be able to occupy the property after closing. They can negotiate things um, like whether or not you get a home warranty, whether or not the washer and dryer go with the home. There are many sellers who take the washer and dryer with them and that's not always up front. And so a real estate agent should be looking for those things and letting you know. There are many things that they can do for you. If they've been looking through the area quite a bit, once again, while you're searching for a home, they can let you know what they know about that area. Whether or not there's a lot of traffic at specific times a day, specific times a year, maybe it's close to a festival route, maybe it's close to an annual run route, maybe it's close to, who knows, some sort of a parade that you don't want to be near. They can let you know a lot of those things or you can Google those things, but it's a lot easier if you're able to lean on someone else for the information that they already have. So that's why I think that it is important to make sure that when you go into the home buying process, you're prepared to work with a buyer's agent. Now, that may not be possible. That may not be something that you are able to do or comfortable with doing. I will say that in the past, the buyer's agent pay was negotiated into the listing contract. 
It is no longer going to be negotiated into the listing contract, but it is still something that will be negotiated or negotiable during the process of putting in your contract to purchase a home. So you may have to come to the table with some extra money to help pay your your buyer's agent or you may be able to negotiate and your agent may be able to negotiate for you to pay the prices for a buyer's agent now that's it that's what i got for you that's why i think it's important almost every single transaction is a little bit different so why not go into it with an expert, somebody who is going to have a fiduciary responsibility to you, somebody who is going to take care of you, who is going to make sure that everything is on the up and up, that you're not getting you know, yourself in trouble, that you're not spending too much. Make sure that, that you close on time and that you're happy when you're done. Would love to help. Uh, feel free to reach out, contact me, ask me any questions. I'll be here.